Welcome to our lecture online. In the last video, we used, first of all, the equation of restitution to find an equation to find V1 final in terms of V1 initial. And then we plugged it back into the conservation momentum equation in here to solve for V2 final, and those are the two values that we found. What we're going to do here is we're going to find V2 final using the coefficient restitution equation and then check to see if the constitution of the the coefficient of restitution, the constitution, the coefficient of restitution indeed is one third when we plug all the values for the velocities back in. So we need to come up with that second equation that tells us that V2 final is equal to the left side of this equation, which is M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial plus instead of minus m1 times the coefficient of restitution times the difference between the initial velocities all divided by m1 plus m2 so let's now plug what's given into that equation to see if we end up with the same value for v2 final so this is equal to m1 which is m times v1 initial which is v1 initial plus m2 which is 2m times its initial velocity, which is 0, plus m1, which is, that would be m, times the coefficient of restitution, this one third, times the difference in the velocities, v1 initial minus 0, because the second object had 0 initial velocity, all divided by the sum of the two masses, m plus 2m, which is 3m. And then we realize we can, we can go ahead and eliminate all the m's, and so then this is equal to V1 initial uh, plus one-third V1 initial divided by 3. All right, let's see how that ends up, hopefully, with the same value of V2 final. So let's come up here and finish that up. V2 final is equal to V1 initial plus one-third V1 initial. Well, let's go ahead and add those two up. So 1 plus a third, that would be 4 thirds. Yes. So 1 plus a third, that would be 4 thirds V1 initial divided by 3. And so then that means that V2 final is equal to 4 thirds divided by 3 or 4 ninths V1 initial. And hopefully that's the same number. And sure enough, that's what we got in the last video. Now. Let's go ahead and plug all those values back into the original equation to see if the coefficient restitution indeed will come out to be one third. So the coefficient of restitution is equal to V2 final, which is 4 ninths V1 initial minus V1 final, which was 1 ninth V1 initial, all divided by V1 initial minus zero because the second object was not moving. So four ninths minus one ninth, that is equal to three ninths V1 initial divided by V1 initial. Of course, then you'd realize the V1 initials cancel out and three ninths is indeed one third when you divide both the numerator and the denominator by three to verify that yes indeed, we did get the right coefficient restitution. That's always a good way to verify that your final velocities were indeed the right ones. And that is how that's done.